Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna go over something pretty cool. Usually uh, you'll see some cars that have uh, wheel decals on them or they have white wall tires. So I wanted to cover something pretty simple but also very informative. Uh, this car, our GTR that we have in today, we did quite a few videos with it, but when I was walking by, I noticed that the uh, wheel decals were still a little bit dirty. And then I realized that maybe many people didn't know how to dress the wheels when there is decals on them as well. You want to avoid, obviously, getting them back into a dirty state. So you want to make sure that when you do dress the tires that you avoid that area. But how do you do so in the right way? So I'm going to show you first how to clean this part of the wheel and then how to dress it. So there's two ways of dressing it, but first we're going to go into the cleaning part. So right now you'll see that the wheel decal is pretty dirty. They are supposed to be white. So I'm going to use our Nonsense. Nonsense is a great all-purpose cleaner that you can use on many different surfaces. I just used it before the video to actually wipe down my shoes, uh, so that's pretty funny. Um, but I'm going to use it actually on the car today. Uh, you can use it, like I said, on different surfaces for like carpet cleaning, stains, um, basically it's virtually any surface. Uh, and it's no color and no odor. So I'm going to use it to clean the letters first, and then we'll go on to show you about dressing the tires. So I'm just going to spray it onto the towel. I'm using our workhorse towel. You can use any microfiber towel. And then I'm just going to clean them up. And as you can see already, it cleaned it up pretty well. Nonsense is ready to use, so you don't have to dilute it. If you need to or want to, you can, uh, but it's, you can spray right out of the bottle. So as you can see there, that's already the before and after, and I really didn't use as much uh, nonsense, uh, and it cleaned it up pretty well. So when you go on to dress the tires, uh, most people are going to use like a applicator pad and use a liquid form dressing, which is fine and you could still use it, but most of the time you want to avoid this area because if not, it's going to get dirty again. So in this case, you can either do two things. You can dress the tires with a uh, liquid based dressing and use it only in the areas avoiding your wheel decals, or you can just go straight and use a aerosol based dressing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish cleaning these letters and then we'll move on to the dressing part. Now they're looking white again, which is great. So I'm going to show you what happens. Unfortunately, I'm going to get them dirty again, but I want to show you what happens when you use your liquid-based dressing, which seems pretty obvious, but just in case you don't know, uh, most of the time we find ourselves getting our dressing. I just used a silk shine dressing on our Wonder Wave applicator, and you want to go in a direction and you start to work it in. Then you find yourself at the letter, and you forget that that's there, and now you just went over the letters and they're dirty again. So what you can do, like I said earlier, is you can just use Silk Shine on the areas in between the wheel decals, and then we can dress, you still wanna dress this area because you don't want that to look undressed. So you can use an aerosol based, but I'm gonna go back and clean this back up, and then I'll show you the aerosol and how to use that around the letters. So for my aerosol based dressing, I'm choosing a nice and wet tire shine coating. Uh, it leaves a wet finish as opposed to a more natural look. So it's really going to make the uh, tire stand out and in contrast with the white letters. So as you can see with a aerosol based, I went right over the letters and there's no problem. There's nothing left behind. They are still white. Uh, if you don't like it to look too wet, you can let it sit and dry. Uh, if it's too much, you can always wipe off the excess. But as you can see, it still stayed white. The good thing about an aerosol-based dressing on wheels that have decals on them is that it's not gonna affect any of the adhesive that you use to put those letters on there. So it's gonna make them last longer. Uh, but like I said, you can always do a mixture of both or you can just do an aerosol-based. But again, for the video we just did, uh, to clean these up, we use Nonsense, and then I use Nice and Wet as an aerosol, or you can use Silk Shine or any other dressing of your choice.
So that was just the tip with Jen today. We hope you tune in next time. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.